What's up everybody, welcome back to Guild Wars 2. So in this video I want to discuss which bags you should open at what level. And by level I mean which character. Um, so let's get to it. Alright, so here you can see that I've collected uh, a few bags. Various, ignore, ignore my inventory, but yeah. So here you can see that I've got some thorn caches, uh, a wyvern cache and a bag of rare gear. And on this side, you can see that I've got some heirloom seed pouches, embroidered coin presses, and some bags of gear. So, what I've done here is basically uh, divided them up into which character wants to open what at what bag. Um, by character, I mean a character at a various level. So, on this side, I want these bags to be opened up on a level 80. Um... This is purely because, as you can see at the bottom here, it says affected by magic fine bonuses, and that means that you the, the gear itself will always be scaled to level 80. Um, there's also a small chance of getting more of these bags. So, uh, obviously this list is not exhaustive. These bags um, are come from the new Heart of Thorns maps, and, well, you'll always be, tell, be able to tell which ones are which, because they'll say affected by magic fine bonuses so always pop all your boosters all of that kind of stuff so just quickly go through here and do that um, I don't actually have any more boosters and I don't have my necklace for extra magic find but we're gonna open this one up here and just get a load of chod um, yeah so I didn't get any more bags but it is possible to get them so got all that and then we want rare gear because we want that to be scaled to level 80 this is because all of the weapons and armor uh, from these bags will drop Ecto if salvaged. So, as you can see on the trading post, they're also worth a lot more. Whereas if you were to open it up on level 48, you'd get a rare piece of gear that is around level 48. And of course, you don't get Ectos below level 65, I think, or it might be 75, around there, anyway. So, the next one are these. Lots of gear. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. All, all champ bags uh, that don't have affected by magic find on can be opened on a lower level character and the gear will scale. The items themselves won't, so you will still be getting tier 5 and 6 items. Um, you won't get tier 7, which is ascended materials, because usually if you'd open up, say, your corn presses or your heirloom seed pouches, you'd usually get. Uh, some bloodstone dust which you don't if you open them up at a level, lower level which is nice even though i am actually running out of uh bloodstone dust which is kind of crazy but it's because i got hurt here oh my god my bags are such a mess um so yes i'm going to go and swap to a different character and i will just quickly show you oh another thing that i should probably mention is that if you have these three guys well uh not necessarily hurt her but um Muldry, which i haven't I still haven't finished making actually because it was such a pain in the ass but yeah if you've got princess and you've got the star of gratitude um, you can get these at various times I think star of gratitude was a winter stay thing and you can get princess quite easily by shooting all of the Karka hatchlings in lion's arch and basically every day you can feed I suppose these items and they will consume uh, either your dragonite ore for princess or imperial fragments for the Star of Gratitude, and they will give you these. Uh, there's four gunk covered pellets that I've got here from today, and three Generosity's Reward. Uh, again, you can open these up on a lower level character, and of course, all of the gear will scale, and none of the items. So, let's go on to the next, next part. All right, so we're back again, and this time I'm on my level 49 character. I decided to go with this one, not a uh, slightly lower level, and I will explain why in just a moment but as you can see I have in fact got all of my bags and my salvage matic on this character um, I've decided to go with just the copper fed one you can use um, the silver fed one which uh, instead of costing three copper it's 60 which is um, kind of misleading with the name because you expect it to cost the silver I think it did back in the day but they patched it out and they changed it so yeah, it doesn't matter which one you use either. Um, people argue all the time which one's better. Um, it really depends on what items you're salvaging. 
if you really want to min -ma uh, min max that way. Um, obviously, you want to try and get the tier of item that is worth the most. So, just going to quickly open these ones up. So we've got a bunch of stuff here. We've got a rare here. It's uh, junk, really. Uh, but as you can see, level 46, 46, 46. And some winter clothes. Oh, nice. Um, 45, 45. So, yeah, as you can see, it's all scaled to my character at this particular point. So, if we're going to the trading post, I'll just quickly show you. So, yeah, linen, here you go, five silver, etc., etc. So, as you can see, yeah, from um, doing that, I just quickly had to sell some stuff. Um, but you can see here that I got some crystalline dust, which is tier six materials. So, obviously, I just proved my point here that. Um, the items inside don't scale, it's just the gear, which I will continually hammer in and um, I will give you a guide in a second, a handy tool that was shown to me on one of my other videos, it's extremely um, useful, I hope you'll find it too, it's a little bit, uh, bit, bit, bit weird to get started with but it's, it's totally worth it um, and we'll also future proof you um, in case certain markets crash and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll just open up a couple more and then we'll see what kind of items I get. Okay, so you've just seen me open up a few bags and um, i just show you here all of the gear. It's 45, 45, which is nice. 46, 46, 46, 46, lovely. Nice. So we've got a bunch of stuff, and as you can see, we're getting tons of iron, platinum, tons of linen already, some rugged leather, which is excellent, some coarse. Uh, but as you can see here, we're still getting, you know, some fairly decent materials. I mean, I just got a vial of powerful blood, some uh, vicious claw here, uh, powerful venom sack. So these are all tier six crafting materials here. Um, some tier 5 here with the mithril and uh, gossamer with orichalcum here. Lovely stuff. Oh, I just want to add in here as well um, that I opened up a couple of heirloom seed pages and I got Phoenix Reborn, level 80, named Exotic. Um, as you can see, boom. Again, just to dispel any particular theory that you cannot get named exotics, there are a set, set amount um, or a set pool that uh, the, the bags will draw from uh, so you often get Phoenix Reborn, Truth and um, Bonetti's Rapier I think there might be a couple of others but those are the ones that I seem to get the most so yeah um, there's, there's still that obviously if you did want to salvage those because you need dark matter or whatever um, you would want to use the Silver Fed Salvage Magnetic or a mystic salvage kit for those um, because they work exactly the same lovely stuff all right so yeah I'll post a link in the description um, it will basically explain which level items are the the most expensive at, at the current time so as I say this to you now stuff at this level at 49 around about tier 4 is very expensive but who's to say in a month or two that those prices crash and they're worth half as much because so many people have cottoned on to the fact that it is expensive at the moment. And therefore, you know, tier five or tier six would be more expensive or perhaps even tier two become very expensive. Uh, it's unlikely because there are not so many sinks for those things, but, you know, who knows what gets added down the down the road. So this tool is, is very useful. Um, I highly recommend it to, to go and check it out. Um, thanks to Ray for, for linking it. And um, yeah, hope you're having a good day. If you like the video, then give it a like. Um, perhaps even consider subscribing. Um, I post a, a Guild Wars 2 video. I post one every week. Um, I try and post two or more if I can. And maybe some other bits. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you again in the next one.